Hi everyone, my name is Ismail Nafi and I work as Innovation Specialist with UNICEF Global Innovation Center. Um, in this uh, video I will explain how to create a flow in multiple languages. Uh, this is useful if you are uh, working in a country where more than uh, one language is spoken. Uh, to do this uh, you need to do three things. Um, the first uh, one is to uh, set uh, the languages in your system. The second one is to know the language of preference of your contacts. And the third step is to create flows in more than one uh, language. Um, so the settings page, uh, if you go to account details here, you'll see this page. Uh, there is one section here for languages. If you click on it, you can see in my case I set um, English as the primary language and the additional language is uh, uh, French but you can add as many languages as you want to. So once you've uh, set your languages and you click save uh, it means that um, uh, multiple languages are enabled in your account. Um, now the second step is to know the language of preference of your contacts and this is something you can do by just asking your contacts. Uh, for instance, when they register, one question you can include is what their preferred language is and you store that. Um, so in this example, um, it's, uh, it's very simple. Um, I'm, uh, I've created the same question in, uh, in two languages because I don't know the language of preference yet. Um, so if someone responds with A, then it will, uh, apparently it will indicate English and B, it will indicate French. So this is the question I sent out. And then, um, well, this is the response A, as I said, for English and B for uh, French. Um, so here, um, if someone responds with English, I can set their language of preference uh, as English. So if I click here, uh, there is one um, action here, as you can see, in the drop-down list which, uh, which says um, set language for contact, and then I select English. Okay, these are the languages I set in my account details and the same for French. So this was the second step. Now I know the language of preference of my contacts, provided they've gone through this flow, of course. The third step uh, is to create flows in more than one language. So if I, um, if I go to this flow, which I just created, so as you can see, because I enabled multiple languages, you, you see the, the languages here. So if I um, click uh, on English and then French, I can see which um, boxes I need to translate. This box here I've translated already. So here, this is the uh, question I created first in English, asking people for their uh, nearest uh, hospital. And the same question is here, uh, I, uh, I included here in French. Um, and you can do uh, for all the uh, boxes, of course. I didn't translate everything, but I'm sure you uh, you got the uh, the ID. So uh, all the orange indicated uh, content needs to be translated in the uh, in the other languages or the the optional or the second languages. And the same here. Um, I mean, if someone responds with uh, something not uh, recognized by the system, you can do um, uh, you can uh, write the same question in the well in, in this case French um, so what happens here once I've uh, translated um, all the uh, boxes here if I were to send uh, this flow to my contacts and I know their uh, language of preference already they will uh, rapid pro will make sure that they will get the uh, the messages in their uh, preferred language I hope uh, this was clear. Um, you could always reach out to us through the uh, Rapid uh, Pro Forum. Um, thanks for your attention.